Hi guys, Jessica here, and today's workout is core floor. So just like it sounds, we're gonna be working all your core muscles while on the floor. So if you got a hard surface, you might need a mat. If you're on carpet, you may be okay with just a towel or just laying down on the carpet. Uh, Peanut is going to join us, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I apologize in advance for any distraction. We're gonna start seated with the knees bent, about hip width apart, feet are gonna be flat on the floor. I know you wanna be petted, but we're working out. <laughs> Hold on to the backs of the thighs. Take a deep breath in for two, <laughs> and out for two. Oh my goodness. Inhale, and exhale round. Now, as you lift your chest, Keep the abs gently hugging your spine. I want you to sit up really tall and then round it down. Inhale, lift and round. Now let's go a little bit further back. As you round, pat the floor with your low back. So you can take a little bit more time to come down and come back up. Inhale, exhale, scooping everything in nice and tight. One more, and down. Now, come back up. We're gonna start to use the arms. I still want you to round, but you're gonna give me a little twist. Come up to the center, other side. Exhale, down, and lift. So make sure at the very top, you're gonna lift out of your spine. Exhale, and inhale. Keep that chin into your chest. Please don't chew my mat, Peanut. Take it back. Good. Two more, exhale, and inhale. Last one, take it down, come up. Good, now let's go ahead and extend those legs out straight. Bringing the heels together, just kind of shake out the legs. Maybe you just did a workout, maybe you just got home from work. Our hamstrings can always use a good stretch. So we're gonna round forward and just reach as far forward as you can. Don't concentrate on getting your nose to your knees. Just think about lengthening your chest out over those thighs, keeping your abs in tight. Round the spine, stack up nice and tall here. Now most of us have to bend our knees in order to really sit up tall, so feel free to soften the legs. We're gonna really bend the front leg in here, and I want you to go ahead and step it over as if you were gonna do a little stretch. We're gonna work the abs in this position. Bring your hands back behind your head, and I want you to give me a twist and come back to the center. Exhale, rotate it, inhale back. Exhale, squeeze the air out of the lungs. Inhale, sit up taller. And back, good. Turn the shoulders, not just the elbows. Keep your head nice and relaxed and neutral. Good, now one more from here. Twist, really use your abs. You're gonna give me a little pulse, going a little further into that rotation. Draw the abs in. Keep hugging that knee in towards the midline of your body so the leg is still active here. Good, now from here, we're gonna take this arm, bring the elbows to the floor, I'm gonna tell Peanut to stop chewing on that, and I want you to just stretch. So press away from the ground with the side of your body, lengthen and stretch it out. Come center, before we get rid of this leg, let's take a little stretch for our hip. I want you to just open it out, stretch forward again. Ooh, I'm feeling this today. So just relax, open up that hip. Good, let's come center, uncross the legs, shake them out again, come forward, relax. Roll up, stacking that spine, cross the back leg over top, sit up as tall as you can, keep that knee kind of squeezing in here so we don't wanna let it drop it out. Use your inner thigh to hold it in place. Just the twist for two, exhale, rotate, sit taller at the top. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. I don't know why pets like to chew our mat so much. They must taste really good. Exhale and inhale. Give me one more, then we're gonna hold for that little pulse. Ready, draw the abs in, keep that knee reaching in towards your midline. Pulse it back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Take that back arm, take it to the floor. Elbow presses down, you're gonna lift away with your rib cage. Give you that nice, beautiful stretch. Good, come center, cross the knee out. 
stretch forward and relax. Now make sure that foot isn't on top of your kneecap. That's not going to feel good. You want to keep it on top of that thigh. If your quads are tight, you might really be feeling your ankle bone on a muscle adhesion. So you're going to do two things at once. You're going to work out those knots too. Good. Now from here, let's go ahead and bend the knees. Peanut. <laughs> Roll back onto your back. Abs are in tight. We're going to open the arms out to 90 degrees. So think about making a letter T on the floor with your upper body. Bring your knees together. Toes are going to point at 90 degrees. So think of a tabletop position here. Abs in tight. Take your knees towards me. Keep both shoulder blades on the floor. So we're going to inhale down. Exhale to the center. Go away from me. Down for two and up for two. Now keep this in your abs. You're gonna feel a little stretch in the low back, but we don't wanna feel any pull or tightness in the back. So keep those shoulder blades pressing down real strong into the floor. And I want you to think about inhaling as the knees drop. Exhale to come back to the center. Inhale and exhale. Two more just like that. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale, good. Now let's go ahead and let the knees drop all the way down. You can let your shoulders come off the floor. Just take a nice little stretch. Look over your opposite shoulder, turn away from the knees. Tighten up your abs, let's bring everything back in. Take it away from me, change your gaze. Good. And come back to the center. Nice job. So let's just give the knees a little hug here. We're gonna keep working on that core. So from here, what I want you to do is place your hands underneath your tailbone. We're gonna cross the right ankle on top of the left, let the knees open out to the sides. If you can, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. We're gonna squeeze the inner thighs and bend the knees back in. So you're coming out on a diagonal line. Hands are just underneath the hips here. Shoulder blades are lifted. Chin is into your chest, relax that neck. Good, now let's go for single counts. Take it out, take it in. Really squeeze those inner thighs as you stretch out those legs. Press and bend, good, really squeeze it. Two more. Now take those legs out there and just hold that extended position. Scoop your abs in tight, give me a little crisscross. We're gonna switch the leg that's on top. If you start to feel this in your back, take the legs a little higher. But if you can, we're gonna take the legs down to the floor and up to the ceiling. Take them down and up. Down and up. Good, couple more. Down and up. Last one, keep those abs in tight. And up, relax. Hug the knees into your chest. Take a little stretch. We're gonna set that up on the other side. So we're gonna cross the back leg on top. Hands back underneath the hips and lift the head. Out for two and bend for two. As your legs straighten, you're gonna squeeze the backs of the knees towards each other. Exhale and inhale. Keep that belly button scooped in tight. Single tempo. Out, in, squeeze and up. That's it. Good, extend those legs out on a diagonal without arching that low back. Two more. Good, now let's hold it. I really don't need a shower right now. Hold it here, crisscross the legs. Take it down, take it up. Oh, now she's gonna go for my ear. Take it down and up, down and up. Two more, we got this. Last one, keep that crisscross. Hug the knees, rest your head. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and come on up here. So we're gonna move on to the hands and the knees. Take a quick little stretch here, round the spine. Arch, stretch it out. Inhale, exhale. Round, release, one more. Round it, release, great job. Good, now from here, I want you to take your back leg out behind your hip, abs are in tight. And you are actually going to lift this top hand. I want you to bend the arm in, leg is lifted. Now extend the arm out by your ear. We're gonna bend the knee and the elbow together. Pull in, 
reach out. Now we're working the core as we stabilize through the torso. Keep your shoulders and hips square to the floor. Pull in and down the back. Shoulder blade presses down to the hip. Two more nice and slow and steady. Check that bottom hand, make sure it's right underneath your shoulder. Can we do eight single counts? Here we go. It's eight, seven, six. Let your eyes focus on the floor. Five, four, three, two, last one. Now, curl the heel in, bend your elbow. See if you can reach back and grab that foot. Good, just hold it, stretch it out. If that's too intense, just reach your hand back as close as you can to your foot. Release it, sit back to child's pose, take a little stretch. You have to stop making me, please. Let's come back up to the other side. Hands underneath you, take the front leg back, hold it, take your back arm up, extend long, slow tempo, bend the knee, bend the arm in, and out. So while it's slow, really focus on using the hamstring on that back leg. Try not to let your knee drop below your hip. Keep those abs lifting into your spine. Bottom arm is underneath the shoulder here. Stabilize through those core muscles. Single counts, here we go. Eight, seven, six, really pull down strong, five, Four, three, two, and one. Grab that foot, hold it, reach back, open up and stretch. Let's bring it in, sit back, take a stretch. Child's pose, relax. Good. All right, so from here, let's come to a seated position with the legs just crossed. So crossing one leg in front of the other. We're gonna take a little stretch. See if we can get all the way down to the elbow. So I want you to reach out and over, pull in and up. Out and over, pull up through that side. Over, now if you can't get to your elbow, that's okay. Just go as low as you can. Darling, stop. Over and up. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one. Good, now give me single count, take it over. For eight, squeeze. Seven, six, a nice stretching side crunch. Five, it's four, three, give me two more, just like that. Good, now let's just hold that stretch. Reach, and I want you to take that top arm and reach across your thighs. So you're gonna stretch and open across your back now. Stretch with me, peanut. Come up to the center. Other side, nice and slow. Over. Come up. Now, getting to the elbow is one thing, but what I don't want you to do is lift the opposite hip off the floor to get down there. So if you can't go that low, that's fine. Make sure both of your sit bones stay against the mat here. Inhale. Exhale, pull it up. Good. Nice way to stretch out all those ab muscles we worked earlier this week with our standing abs routine. Single counts, let's go. Take it over and pull, over and pull. Reach. Stretch and stretch. Give me two more. Hold it. Take that arm out and over. Stretch across. Yes, you stretch too. Great job, guys. Okay, let's come back to seated. So we're gonna bring the legs up, just coming into a floating boat pose, pointing through the toes, squeezing through the inner thighs. See if you're able to balance with the feet off the floor. If not, you just keep them down. I want you to lift up, holding the abs in tight to your spine. Just hold it here. Good. Now, see if you can let go of your legs. And I actually want you to cross your hands on top of your opposite elbow. You're gonna to start to twist through your upper body. Side, center, side, center. Now, if you're on the floor, you're doing the exact same thing. 
we're gonna start to switch and extend one leg at a time. If you're on the floor, it looks like this. So you pick your level, twist through those abdominals. And remember, this is not about being more advanced or not. Some days, this is gonna feel better for you. Some days, you'll be up for this. See what's working. Four more. Three more. Two more, give me one more. Hold it, cross one leg in front, stretch forward, relax it. Great work. All right, let's come back onto the back. We're gonna keep the legs crossed. Just roll back onto your back. Take your hands behind your head. Abs in tight. Curl up over the top of your rib cage. Exhale. Hold this lift. Now really relax your neck. Let your head just rest against your hands. Make sure you're not pulling that head up. We want our elbows wide to the sides. Abs in. Now I want you to take your front shoulder down to your front hip. Side, center, stay on that same side. Good, so you're relaxing the lower body. Nice side crunch here. Two more. Go the other way. Crunch. Good, so try to keep those shoulders lifted. Press that shoulder down to your hip. You got it. Excellent, nice. Come back to the front, give me four of them. Four, three, two, take it to the back. Four, three, keep that slow and controlled tempo. Two, give me two to the front. Two to the back, squeeze. Now just go side to side. So we're gonna go front, back. Lower body stays steady. Use in the sides of the waist, big time, reach. We got four, three, two, ah, oh, we made it. Come back center, relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Let's bring the hands down by the sides. We're gonna keep the legs crossed, but lift them up. So from here, I want you to think of pushing down with your shoulders and your arms. We're gonna stretch the legs and try to lift the hips up to the ceiling, looks like this. Up and down. Now, try not to throw the legs. I want you to tuck that tailbone, squeeze your inner thighs. Think of going straight up, drilling your toes into the roof here. Eight more. Seven. Six, push down with that upper body. Five, squeeze those inner thighs. Four, three, last two right here. Come on, lift the hips. Great job. Now extend the front leg straight up. Back leg parallel to the floor. Climb up that top leg. Pull it in as close to you as you can. Give me a little pulse. Pull the abs in and switch. Pulse from the park, get a nice good stretch. Pull the abs in, switch. Now, you can modify with those knees bent. If you need to take it here, absolutely fine. Give me two. Switch. Do it again. Switch. Single it out. Abs are tight. You're just lightly using those fingertips to draw the legs in towards your chest. And four, three, two, and one. Relax it back, cross the back leg on top, hands come down by our sides. We're gonna go back into that hip lift. Are you ready? Let's go, take it up, squeeze, lower. So we're pressing everything through that upper body down into the floor, shoulders and hands, back to the arms. Lifting up with the pelvic floor and the abs. I want you to work all the way up from the pelvis into the belly button. Drill those toes right through the roof. Four, three, good. Two, give me one more. Great job. Now extend the legs up, scissor them apart, climb up that back leg. Pull your abs in tight, pulse it open. Four, three, two, pull the abs and switch. Good, switch legs. Feel a little connection between your inner thighs on that scissor. 
good. Give me two pulses. Switch it. Switch. You got this. Eight singles. Here we go. It's eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. And hug your knees. Relax the head. Nice job. Let's come up and transition so we're lying face down on the floor. This is a very dangerous place for me to be right now. We'll see how we go. So let's work on the back side of the body just a little bit to wrap things up. I want you to extend your arms down by your feet. Keep your chin tucked to your chest. So I'm gonna look up so you can actually hear me, but I want you to look at the floor, okay? So we're gonna open the legs a little wider than hip width, and I want you to extend your spine, lift your chest and your thighs as you come up, come down. Reach for your toes, lengthen the spine, exhale and extend, come back down. Extend, come back down, good. Pull and release. Reach, just go as high as you can. Reach those fingertips back as if you're trying to touch your heels with your fingers. Now let's hold this one as high as we can. Reach, curl your heels in, come up a little bit higher, stay in that extension, pulse your toes to the ceiling, lift. Lift. So we're going to squeeze through those cheeks. Work in the buns a little bit while we're down here. Keep the extension in the spine for eight, six, four, three, two. Release your feet. Grab a hold of your ankles if you can. Let's extend up. Open the chest. Release it down. Good. Extend the legs. Press your hips back with your heels. Come into child's pose. Just take a nice deep breath down. Relax your forehead to the floor. Walk both hands over to one side of your mat. Stretch to the side of your torso. Come around to the other side. Good. And let's just come to a sitting position comfortably, crossing the legs. Good, round the spine, just like we started. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, lift that chest. Exhale, round, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. I want you to make yourself two inches taller than when we started. One more, really round, keep the abs in. Keep them bracing in as you sit up tall. Good, shoulders down. Great job. Thanks so much for joining us for this core floor session. We'll look forward to training with you again soon. Say bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us.